So he beat the, uh, the ice temple, I guess you could call it. Got the iron boots. Now, we should be able to go get the uh, water tunic by freeing the merchant. And the Zora King as well, of course. Oh, you've come back to life. Oh, well, you saved me. Don't be nervous. Looks like you have a hard time breathing underwater. As an expression of my gratitude, I grant you this tunic. With this, you won't choke underwater. Hey, we got the Zora tunic. Diving suit in adult size. Won't fit a kid. Wear it and you won't drown underwater. Huzzah! Ah, oh, I see. Princess Ruto went to the Water Temple. Yes, yeah, she did. Alright, let's free the merchant as well since we're here. Say you want to buy a Zora tunic? That tunic is made of the finest material and is therefore exceedingly expensive. In fact, I'm afraid only the very rich family in, Calico in uh, Kakariko Village can afford this fine garment. Yeah, no, I don't need to. I was just given one. Um, yeah, no, I'm good. Did you not see me wearing the tunic already? Interesting indeed. Okay. Um... Now nah, this is gonna help here. Uh, let's see. Wonder how this works in a river. Oops. Always pressing the wrong button. Glorious cash! We're just gonna walk the river back. use bombs underwater. Never tried before. Nope.
happened to the frogs? You need that. Okay, uh, that is enough fucking around there. So we have done it. We have completed the uh, completed the ice dungeon. I'm gonna go back to Kalakori Village real quick here, because I do want to see what my uh... I do do want to see what that planted uh, seedling does here. Probably just leads me to more rupees that I don't really need at the moment. Is there anything I can stock up on? Oh, I do need arrows. I only have 17 arrows. Is taking me. Ah, fuck, I didn't, I didn't jump fast enough. Yeah, I think this just takes me on a tour of the village and then eventually takes me to the one point where it actually does something. Which is right over here. Oh, wait! I couldn't jump off? Ah, oh, fuck. I think it's just gonna be a dick about it, huh? All right, fucking fine. Oh wait, no, there is some stuff in the Lost Wood I wanted to check out. What is it, Navi? 
Those iron boots look like they weigh a ton! If you wear those boots, you may be able to walk at the bottom of a lake! You don't fucking say, Navi. Who would have thought? On the- I don't know if Child Link can wear the iron boots. I feel like Child Link would barely be able to move in them. I think the Cuckoo wakes this idiot up. Oh, it does. Cool. Kijiro, why? Normally, once a nice guy like me can tame. Normally, only a nice guy like me can tame you. Which means you... Must be a nice guy. Must be. Must be. Please, Mr. Nice Guy, please. Deliver this stuff to the old hag in the potion shop in Kakariko Village. This will disappear if you take too long, so you gotta hurry. Uh, okay. Got an odd mushroom. Fresh mushroom like this is sure to spoil quickly. Take it to the Kakariko Potion Shop quickly. Oh god, there's a time limit. I might have might have wanted to grab a Pona before I tried this. Oh, I left Epona here at the village. I think I'm good. Hi, Epona! I'll be back! Yeah, I need it to be daytime. Oh, this is gonna teleport me back to the entrance, isn't it? Damn it. Yeah, I might not make it now. I got it. Okay, cool. <laughs> what a mysterious smell. You must have something. I do. An almost rotten mushroom. That bum! He had to go into the forest. I see. Hey, give it to me now. Yes. Oh. Oh, she has a kitty. I didn't notice that before. If you see that fool, give this to him. It's the strongest medicine I have ever produced. However, this potion will not work on a monster. Received an odd potion. You don't know what's going on between this lady and that guy, but take it to the Lost Woods. They say that there is no medicine that can cure a fool. I guess that's true. All right, back to the guy.
This time I'll have opponent at least. Oops, that's not what I wanted at all. Oh, you won't jump the river, Epona? Oh, you are no fun. Says it won't affect a monster. So I assume that's a commentary on like day versus night. Like I have to I have to talk to him during the day when he's still a human, I guess. I mean we'll see in a moment here. It's still daytime. So if we get to him quickly, this should work. guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a Stalfos. Everybody. Stalfos. So he's not here anymore. Uh, do you want this medication? That guy isn't here anymore. Anybody who comes into the forest will be lost. Everybody will become a stealth Jesus. Only his saw is left. Hee <laughs> hee. That medicine is made of the forest mushrooms. Give it back. Okay. Okay, you returned the old potion and got the poacher's saw. The young punk guy must have left it behind. Hehehe, <laughs> are you going to be too? No, you creepy little child. Okay, what is it leading? What is the purpose of these plants? I feel I feel like I don't understand what it's for. You know, what am I supposed to be doing with it? Nah, fuck it. Oh good, the violent skull kid is back. Hey, do you remember me? You do not remember me. Okay, so I got a poacher's saw. Now what the fuck do I do with that? Ow. You know, I bet this, uh, I bet there's someone else at Kakariko Village who wants this saw. Hey -ya, hey -ya. 
Yeah, sorry, that is a... Let's ride around the forest a little bit, see if we can uh, find somebody interested in a poacher's saw. Oh, the hammer should be able to break this. Let's say I couldn't blow this one up, but the hammer should be able to crack it. Oh, I guess not. That was a very large Poe. This is a forest area. I feel like if there's someone who wants a saw blade, maybe it's here. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's go back to Kakariko Village and see if there's somebody who needs, like, tools for something. This tree really grew. Wa ha 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 ha! Look at this guy. Ever since he escaped from Hyrule Castle Town, he's been even more timid. I tell you, I saw him. I saw the ghostly figure of Dampy, the gravekeeper, sinking into his grave. It looked like he was holding some kind of treasure. Oh, that's right, it's a crawl space to get any further down. Alright, so let's just talk to folks in here and see if any of them want a saw. The bearded guy went back to the ranch. He looked so happy. That lazy man, he kind of reminded me of my little Richard. What's that? You say you've never heard of my little Richard? He's such a famous puppy! You seriously haven't heard of him? Uh, I believe I saved your little Richard once, like, seven years ago. Of course, you still keep just, like, letting him outside at night, which is not a great idea, I think. Welcome. We moved here from Castletown. I know times are tough, but I hope you will be a steady customer for us. No, probably not. 
I can usually just, like, dig out of the grass just about anything I need, so... Welcome! An old witch runs the potion shop behind this one. You can get to the shop through the door to the left of the counter. Oh, I can buy blue fire from him. Interesting. Okay. Let's go talk to the potion shop lady. Ultimate potion! How about a hundred rupees? Sure. What is it? You got the blue potion. Drink it to recover your life, energy, and magic power. Nice. You change your mind. Come back and visit me. <laughs> Let's see. Can I just grab potion from you? No? see someone up here. Oh, it's the couple! What are you two idiots doing? Hehe. <laughs> what an annoying person interrupting us like this. Don't you agree, my love? Oh, hello. Can I break this rock, maybe? 